Hi there, Stephanie here. I want to address some questions I've been getting about nonsense word fluency or NWF. Uh, this is, you might have guessed, my favorite universal screening and progress monitoring tool. NWF is a one minute assessment that has students reading non-words that follow a vowel consonant or consonant vowel consonant pattern. This is a highly predictive indicator of reading comprehension in the future. It's measuring students' ability to automatically and accurately read letter sounds and unitize those sound symbol relationships into a whole word. So it is an indicator of the essential skill area known as the alphabetic principle. And the alphabetic principle has two components, that ability to match or the understanding, I guess, that, that letters represent sounds in the words we speak, and then that ability to, to blend those letter sounds into whole words, two really essential skills. Actually, it is the uh, reason that we do phonemic awareness, why we raise awareness of the sounds in spoken words is so that ultimately students can map those sounds to print and an assessment like NWF will capture if your phonemic awareness instruction is, is working. So why would we use non-words? Sometimes teachers get really hung up on this and they think, or say, I'm teaching my students to read for meaning. Why would I put words that don't mean anything in front of them? And this is where we get at that really essential ability and skill of matching sound to symbol in words that you've never seen before. Being able to unitize letter sounds in words that you've never seen before. If we used real words, then students might have seen them before. Some, some students might not have, and we wouldn't have a common denominator. We need to be able to take away that sight vocabulary, so to speak, of some students and really get to the core of, do they know how to match sound to symbol and do they know how to blend any string of letters that they come across? And sometimes it's helpful to think about the fact that the uh, vowel consonant and consonant vowel consonant patterns that you see on an assessment like NWF are syllables sometimes that appear in larger words. And we want students to be able to have that good solid word attack skill even when they become uh, intermediate or, or older level readers. So we want students to be able to do both things accurately and automatically match sound to symbol and also automatically, instantly and effortlessly bring together those letter sounds. So to get there, we need to teach students a really solid and explicit approach to words that they've never seen before. So something like put your finger under the first letter, say the sound, put your finger under the next letter, say the sound, blend it. And starting in kindergarten as first, when we are first teaching individual letter sounds, we should also be teaching the blending. And we're expecting students to use that approach from the get-go, even from the beginning of kindergarten. Um, so we want to have instruction that promotes that kind of decoding and that word level blending. It's not okay to just only know the letter sounds. That's a uh, a scaffold, it's a means to the end, but it's not where we ultimately want students to be. We want them to be able to read whole words. So that's what we're looking for. On an assessment like the Acadians Reading Nonsense Word Fluency, we want students to be at or above benchmark on both the correct letter sound score and on the whole words read score. To no longer need to go sound by sound and then blend, but to be able to look at that string of letters and be so automatic and instant that you can just read the word. So if I had a minute to assess every student in this country, I would use NWF from Acadians. That would be the indicator that I would start with, even with high school students. Because if you can't unitize that CVC pattern, you are going to need some instructional support. You might need some support around phonemic awareness. You definitely need some letter sound support and some support with decoding and blending letter sounds. And if you already can read that 
closed syllable, that CVC pattern, then you're on your way. You're much more likely to be a fluent reader and more likely to understand what you're reading. So I hope this answers some of the questions you may have had about NWF. If you have additional questions, please make sure you add those to the comments below this video.